let's talk about falls and fracture. You can see this new study here. And this study suggested to me that we're in the wrong lane if we're focusing on bone density and focusing on bone drugs, that we need to put more attention on fractures. This was a study of veterans in a hospital, 3,000 of them. They looked at the people that took medications to lower blood pressure. Within 30 days, they had a doubling of hip fracture risk. And what happens, of course, on that medication of lowering blood pressure, people often get lightheaded and dizzy when they stand up, they fall. Within 30 days of using drugs to lower blood pressure, there was a 50% increase in fracture. This is really important to me because we have been frightened by this idea of hip fractures, and yet they're caused by falls. In this case, we have seen that one single drug can vastly increase the risk of falling. Let's look at all the medications and let's pay attention how they affect fall and how our own strength and our ability to maintain stability of the physiology is very important for preventing fracture. Fractures don't happen by themselves. 90 to 95% of all hip fractures occur because of falls, but it's not just hip fractures. The Center for Disease Control reports that 85 to 90% of all risk fractures and even up to half of all vertebral fractures are due to fall. Let's pay attention to fall prevention, which essentially means get all those nutrients alkalized and build strength.